He's five foot seven, about one ninety. All right, not a lot of movement of his head, very minimal movement. Now watch this weight transfer. This is what I want to call your attention to. When people say to me, what do the hips actually do in the golf swing? Well, the answer is they, they rotate 45 degrees or thereabouts. They shift about 10 or 12 inches, and they rotate another 45 degrees. So their overall rotation of the hips is about 90 degrees. 45 degrees to the right and 45 degrees to the left. What does the trunk do? The trunk rotates 90 degrees to the right, and at impact it's about 20 degrees to the left. So the overall is about 110 degrees of rotation from top of the backswing to impact. All right, now, do you need to know all that stuff? I don't know. It wouldn't hurt unless you think about it too much. Now, as we indicated, let's make sure your head's not moving backwards during the course of your swing. You, you came for a lesson a couple years ago and we worked on trying to not sway and you've eliminated that for the most part there. That's pretty good. This muscle is called your adductor muscle, the inner thigh muscle. You want to activate that and try to anchor the right knee. If I try to pull your right knee away, you should be very steady with that knee. And then as you start down, your shift. Now there, your hands have moved a long ways, but there's minimal lateral shift in your hips. But this is quite a good strike and an excellent impact position. So I'm being picky. Now, does his hips move more than yours? Absolutely they do. How much more do they move? Well, I would say they move about six or seven inches more. I would like to see your left hip reach that line that I just drew on the outside of your left shoe. And I'm not so sure you get there. No. So you're a few inches short. Now what you're going to see from him is something different. So you don't lack the rotation, you don't have enough lateral movement in your pelvis. Now why is that? Because you have lateral movement in your pelvis on the backswing, which takes away from the lateral shift that you should have on your downswing. Does that make sense? But you're only moving your pelvis this much laterally on the backswing as compared to this much last time. Yeah. So, so now, Jim, when I'm, when I'm going back, uh -huh. my, my right knee my right, is shouldn't back. lock and it shouldn't it should move appreciably laterally. It's back a little bit, right? It can go back a little bit. It can straighten, but it not lock. In other words, <laughs> look, you don't want to do this, you know. It's okay if your right knee straightens a little bit, but it's not okay if it locks. Yeah, that's fine. But the first move from the top should be a more of a lateral movement through to your left side. So watch. From here to there. You're instead of now, does that something you think about on the course? Don't think about it on the course. Please don't do that. You'll shoot a million. But is it something you can practice? Yeah, here's how you practice it. Put your left heel against the wall, turn back, bump the wall. Turn back, bump the wall. That's all we're talking about. We're only talking 10 inches. That's 10 inches. That's not much. All right. So, excellent. Your swing is good. Do you know what I love about your swing here? Your impact position is beautiful. You have a nice straight line. And because you don't get to play much, you're a busy guy. You got kids, you got your job, and trying to do all these things. You got a really a upside, a high upside for playing well. Because you have really good fundamentals. As I indicated though, we got to work on your swing plane and we got to work on getting the shift but first things first work on that swing plane
and let's hit some more shots.